what's going on? Welcome to Gaming with Bare Hands. Just a little update for you guys, kind of catch you up to date as to why things have been so on and off recently. I think I might have a pinched nerve or something going on in my back. Not a whole lot of sleep and pretty much no comfort unless I'm laying face down on a bed. Uh, we're going to make it through this video. I don't really play my best when I'm low on sleep and in pain but gotta get our crowns anyways so we might as well just go ahead and record while we get these 10 crowns for our chest we're gonna be using this deck uh low on creativity clash with ash did a video on this spotlighted this deck and it is a three crown monster we're gonna take it over to a classic challenge to do some casual play uh and again see if we can't complete our crown chest Okay, new snow. The object of this deck is to get as many pumps down as you can without playing offense for the first two minutes. <laughs> All right, he set up a furnace. He's also going to rocket us out here, which kind of stinks. Get a swipe. Okay, so we killed the princess, which is what we wanted. Uh, I'm now going to take the opportunity, since he's used his rocket, to pump up again. And then get the Night Witch down, which should spawn bats after the spirits hit her, and then kind of clean this up a little bit. Please kill the princess. Oh, we didn't kill the princess. All right, we're going to get skeletons down. Oh, no! A little sloppy there. All right, he's prepped up with his hog again. I am still going to commit. Let these fire spirits and then go ahead here. He's going to take out our pump, but not damage our king's power. Which makes sense. <laughs> All right. I'm going to start up a hog. I threw the Night Witch a little bit too far back. The fire spirits are going to kill the bats this time because of our poor placement. And here we go. Skeletons behind this. Pump up here. I think he's going to Furnace. No, he's going to Skeleton Army. Let's go ahead and Arrow. Kill most of the Skeleton Army. It would have been nice if he pumped also. I'm going to throw the Giant down to block. And the Night Witch. He is going to continue to rocket out our pumps, which might make things a little bit difficult here. Uh, I am going to and then the skeleton army's coming so I'm gonna go ahead and arrow preemptively okay so we, we've taken out one tower and now we're in that last minute so I think we have an advantage here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off a giant over here even though we've dealt more damage over to that tower uh, I feel a little bit more comfortable going here so let's draw the ice spirit here then throw down the skeletons throw down mega minion Another Mega Minion on this. I'm going to arrows because I feel like skeletons are coming. Wasn't the best arrows I've ever done. Definitely not the best giant I've done either. Things are going to lock onto my giant though. And we're just going to heal here. Night Witch takes out the princess thankfully. We've got the Night Witch over on this side. I'm going to cycle arrows and kill the princess, deal some damage on the tower, prepped for his hog. I know the hog's coming. Night Witch is a great counter to the hog, except our Mega Minion targets the Musketeer instead. All right, I'm going to start a slow giant push. And then we're gonna go giant. Oh, out of range. And we're gonna go this, this. Coming in here with the witch. 
Arrows over here. That is a money arrow right there. We're gonna let that go. <laughs> Giant. We're gonna let the fire spirits go. You know he wants the rocket. You know he wants the rocket. Night Witch. Arrows. Heal. Giant in the pocket. Skeletons. Get another Night Witch down. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Throwing down another arrows. Come on, kill that tower. I guess I could have healed there. That would have been good. I'm going to Mega Minion. And then he's going to Hog. So I'm going to Mega Minion again. And then Skeletons. He, he very smartly... Don't get another hit. Okay. Let's go in with the Giant. This, he's going to Skeleton. So I need to Arrows immediately. Come out. Arrows is going to take this out. I'm going to heal. I just got to get over. I just got to get one hit. One hit. No! One hit! Yes! Okay. Whew. Guys, that was... That was really rough right there. All right, two crowns. Two crowns. Now I just need uh, a couple of three crowns here. It was hard to get my pump game going with the rockets. Let's see if it's a little bit easier this game. Throw the pump in the back. He's going to pump in the back. So we have a little advantage because our pump was down first. Uh, and then I want to pump in the middle. And now he's like, oh no, I got to rush him now. So he throws a baby dragon in the back. Um, I'm thinking graveyard. No, giant or uh, golem. Let's go ahead and throw night witch down here. Mega minion. Arrows. I should eat through this golem pretty fast here. I'm actually gonna pump again. Go ahead and throw skeletons down, and then a Night Witch to soak the Baby Dragon. There we go. All right, he's gonna do the same thing. So what we're gonna do is start up a slow giant in the back. <laughs> Foolish, maybe I'm gonna throw another pump down. We're going to Skeleton, Night Witch, Mega Minion, Arrows. He was waiting for the arrows so that he could throw down his goblins. So we're going to have... Block the Night Witch. Push the Night Witch away. Here it is. All right, we're not gonna pump anymore. We're gonna go giant. Uh, I said we weren't gonna pump anymore. Let's pump again. Night Witch. Skeletons behind. Mega Minion, there's the arrows. Money arrows right there to clean everything up. And now as my giant dies, oh, he, he lightnings. Okay, I guess I could have guessed he had lightning. Let's go ahead and back this up with the Night Witch. Uh, too quick, I should have started the giant up in the back. Let's throw down Night Witch. I want to cycle back around the Giant. I'm going to go Mega Minion. Giant. Night Witch. Arrows. Skeletons. And here it is. The Coup de Gras. I'm going to throw down Heal Spell on the Giant. And with the Bats, we're going to eat through that tower in overtime. Not a three crown, 
Uh, but playing against the heavy golem deck is a little bit difficult. I threw a lot of elixir away with our giant, uh, just kind of throwing it up at the front when I needed to start a slow push in the back. All's well and good though. All's well that ends well, right? Dark Nightmare, prepare to face the Night Witch. Unstoppable Night Witch wave of terror. Let's cycle. Man, tons of golems, let me tell you. I'm gonna do giant. And then Night Witch behind the giant. And the lightning, and the arrows, mega minion, get a hit off. All right, let's go. Pump. Uh, I imagine he lightnings the pump right now. Skeletons. There he goes, surround. He does his zap. That was a good play on his part. Slow push. Throw the giant in the back. He's going to go on the other side. Uh, so, we're going to go out on a limb here and say... We can do more. If he lightnings right now, we're in trouble. If not, we should be able to heal through this, kill everything he has, and then move on to his tower. Man, I wish I had another heal. Uh, let's Night Witch over here on the Golem. Oh my goodness! What? Guess I should have committed a little bit more on that side. I forgot I had two Night Witches. When I saw the one die, the other started tanking for all the bats and crazy. What are we at, six? Ugh, we could get another three crown and a one crown, right? I like to uh, let the elixir build up. And then I'm going to throw the elixir pump down, and he throws down a tombstone, which is actually pretty good for us. Is he playing Lava Hound? And then a slow musketeer. So we're going to go way in the elixir deficit and throw down... Oh! Yikes, what a defense, holy cow. I'm gonna throw elixir pump down. All right, that elixir pump's gonna expire. I'm gonna throw another elixir pump down. And let's push into the same lane that he just pushed into. He doesn't have a, a lightning around, so I don't feel uh, terribly concerned with building up a giant push behind this giant. And just when he thinks it's unstoppable, we're going to actually just go ahead and do the pump game again. Does he have skeletons? go. Alright, I can surround this wizard. There's the giant. There's the night witch. Really far back here. Let's throw another one down. Come on, lightning the giants. Lightning the giants. All right, we're going to heal now. We're going to arrows. We're going to night witch again. 
Mega Minion. We want to get back around to the heel. We're going to let him have that tower over there. And we're going in hard over here. Let him have the tower. Night Witch again. And look, we have a full health giant. We're going to Night Witch again. Three Night Witches on the table. Game is set and match. Good game, well played. We need one more crown. We're gonna go for it. I was hoping we did this in four games. Alas, it will take us five. Unless we get waxed right now and we don't have a pump up and ready. I know those two symbols there are I, I believe Wosher, but I don't know what the rest of it is. Uh, let's start up the giant. Pekka. Alright, with Pekka coming in, uh, he's probably going to Executioner. Here we go. Mega Minion. Ugh. We need the Mega Minion over here. And then, so his Executioner... Oh, we killed it before it got there. Okay. Kill the Hog. We're gonna soak the damage. We're gonna play an Elixir Pump. Just arrows. I almost night witched. That would have been a waste of elixir. We're gonna soak it. Now, what I would really like him to do is play his Pekka so I can do a walk around with it. He's not gonna give that to us easily. There it is. Here we go. Walk the Pekka around. Start up a Night Witch in the back. Kill his Executioner and then throw the Skeletons down on the Hog. The Night Witch will kill the... Wow. Wow. Okay, we did a ton of damage there, and he spent a ton of elixir, meaning he does not have enough for the P.E.K.K.A. So now we get a giant rolling. Uh, he's going to push on the other side. He's going to lightning. I'm going to surround the Executioner, set up another giant, then a Night Witch. Bats are going absolutely insane on his tower, and with a heal, I don't believe there's anything he can do to prevent the three crown at this point. Again, game, set, match. Wow. Well, we're at five wins in a classic challenge. Nothing really to boast about. But again, like I said, not really at the top of my game right now. Sometimes it's fun to just sit back, play a couple of casual games with something that somebody else came up with. Again, go check out... Uh, Clash with Ashes video where he spotlights this deck and gives some awesome pointers as to how to make the thing work. Whether or not this is a top-notch deck is beside the point. It is so much fun to play with. Sit back, soak damage on the tower, set up the pumps, get four pumps down on the map, and then once you hit that one minute mark, you get that giant going with three Night Witches and two Mega Minions behind it. Tournament Standard Fireball does not kill Night Witch Mega Minion, and so you can actually have done Heal Spell, wait, Mirrored Heal Spell, and just, it's like unstoppable. Sometimes you get the double giants with three Night Witches behind it, and with heal going, they'll drop skeleton army and the thing will just dissipate. You don't even need to time arrows. There are so many bats on the field. So I hope you guys take this thing out and give it a try yourselves. If you've got the Night Witch, I hope you have the Night Witch. If not, good luck on your Night Witch hunting. Thanks so much for stopping in for this video. Thanks for uh, sticking with me, even though I haven't been uploading 
uploading that much. Hopefully that is uh, fixed in the near future. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hope to see you in the next episode. Wherever you are in your day, make it awesome. I'll see you later.